today's video we cover uh, assemblies and subassemblies. Assemblies are used together with alignments and profiles to create corridors. Uh, for example, here there's a, an assembly here. And when I click on it, I see the first, it's called first assembly. And here are the here is the contextual tab for this assembly. And this assembly has the building blocks here. It has sub-assemblies. Uh, for example, if I click there, that's a sub-assembly. This is another sub-assembly. Uh, we can explore this assembly by clicking on it. And right click, we go to assembly properties. Another way is clicking on it and on the contextual tab, just click on assembly properties. Here we can see the name of the assembly. And then on the construction tab, what has made up the whole assembly can be studied. For example, this assembly has basic lane. It has urban, urban cab gutter general, uh, sidewalk. Uh, it has a basic side slope cut ditch. These are basically these sub-assemblies that are building up this whole assembly. And then also on the other side, we have the same. Basically, group one and two are the same thing, but on different sides. Basically, basic lane, urban cap, urban cap gutter general, urban cap gutter general, Urban sidewalk, urban sidewalk, basic side slope cut ditch, basic side slope cut ditch. And then here on this tab, the codes, we'll explore codes uh, a little bit more later. We have diff three different kinds of, of codes. We have link codes, uh, we have point codes, and then we have shape codes. These codes um, dictate how your sub-assembly is displayed, the style that is displayed here for these shapes, for this um, sub-assembly is controlled by the code systems. Okay, if I go back home and I click on the tools palette here, and then I go to, I right click there and I go to civil metric sub-assemblies. Here you can see these sub-assemblies, the various sub-assemblies. For example, here at the basic tab of these uh, civil metric sub-assemblies, you can see basic lanes, you can see basic lane transitions, basic curves, basic shoulders. And then there are more categorized uh, tabs here. For example, if you have you have a, a tab for lanes. It has different kinds of lanes. You have a tab for shoulders. You have a tab for medians. And if you're not sure what these medians or these subassemblies are all about, you can click on uh, you can click on this lens tab, for example. Go to a subassembly that you do you're not sure about and right click. I click at that at that subassembly and you can go to the help option and civil 3d will take you to the online help where more information about that subassembly is given for example for this subassembly that we've selected lens super elevation AOR standing for axis of rotation this subassembly uh, can be used in crown roads and usually slopes, slopes downwards on both sides towards the right and towards the left. And this is the width parameter in case you are to key in the width parameter. So there are various parameters. There's a side parameter. You can uh, specify the side. You can specify the width, the default saw, pavement, depth, and so on and so forth. And also just to introduce the code uh, the codes 
we have three codes point link and shape so the point codes are these corners or, or junctions point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.7, point 0.8, point 0.9, point 0.10. Those are the point codes. The line link codes, the link codes are these lines. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. And then the shape codes are these shapes, these rectangles. Okay, so we have S1, which is that pavement one, that layer. Pavement 2 is S2, S3 is the base, and then S4 is the sub-base. So if you, ch if you change this, uh, the settings for these codes, then you are able to change the appearance or the display of sub-assemblies.